So if this is working correctly and someone logs in, let me know. I'm waiting for the bus uh, here in Pacific. Some of you might have seen videos from here before if you're tuning in. Uh, it's the 1X bus. The sun is going down. Uh, this is the view down to the ocean, which you can't really see that well because the sky is pretty gray. It looks like it's probably going to rain here. I'm on Fountain Avenue. Um, I'm going to be heading this direction towards Monterey. I've got a couple guests in town today. They're going to be staying with me in the Blue Shed. They are uh, two gals that I met in San Francisco uh, staying at the hostel there. And right now we are going to take a bus ride from Pacific Grove to Monterey. It should be pretty great. Uh, probably won't be as exciting as the cable car ride the other night uh, in San Francisco, which was pretty fly. But, you know, I figure check it out. And now um, that there's an archive, we can, I can go back on and see. So that's cool. So today's been a very uh, unproductive as far as working towards my ultimate most recent ultimate goal is concerned, but it's been a good day, and it is really cold, like windy, it's windy, and I'm in the shady side of the street, obviously, that's not good, but yeah, the wind is kicking in, and the fog is, looks like it's coming in as well, hopefully downtown Monterey might be a little bit warmer. I think the bus is supposed to be here in a minute. We'll see. Whoa, look at that kid over there all dressed up. Fancy pants. So the those gals right now they're at uh, a pizza a pizza place, I think, in Monterey. Having a beer. I'm under the impression that German folks like to drink beer. They brought beer with them in the car. And they asked me a bunch of questions about if they could drink beer on the streets. I told them that they could in Vegas or New Orleans, but not necessarily in Pacific Grove, California. They were disappointed in that, <laughs> which, you know, there are times that are disappointed by that fact as well. I told them at night, you know, maybe at night we could go and take a walk down to the ocean and have a beer <laughs> just for the sake of having it. So we'll see if that happens tonight or not. Uh, it's cold. Stupid bus. It's not really a bus. It's like a... Well, it is, I mean, you know, it's like a van. It's one of those buses that you see uh, um, senior living centers, assisted living centers use to drive their residents from their, um, where they live to Walmart. Uh, it's, it's pretty small. Um, there are bigger buses that go from downtown Monterey to some of the out communities, uh, like Salinas and stuff. And I think those buses are typically used by um, folks that work in Monterey and Pacific Grove and, and live in those other areas because it's too expensive to live, to live here. I was informed today by the gals that an apartment, price, um, that they have an apartment twice as big as the Blue House, which, you know, isn't that hard because it's really only like 15 by 10 or something. But, uh, at least twice that size, if not three times that size, uh, in Germany. Uh, they live a couple hours outside of Berlin. Um, you know, is less than half of what I'm paying now. So, that's cool. I mean, I know it's expensive. But it's not. Yeah, it's not super expensive, but it is expensive for the size, I guess. Oh, I see the bus way down there. This bus, actually, if you ever come out this way, um, the bus from, it's called the 1X, and it goes from Monterey all the way into Carmel, uh, right along the ocean, I believe. It's supposed to be a beautiful, scenic bus trip. So 
So I've never taken it in that direction. I've only taken it um, in the direction that I'm going in towards Monterey. Yes, yes, yes. The one X. Hold on, I'm putting it in my pocket. Hello. I'm good. How are you doing today? Oh shoot, that does not even go there. <laughs> Sorry. Thank. You. How do I do that? Because it's two dollars now. Oh shoot, I didn't. Thanks. <laughs> right on. Cool. Thank you. Fifty cent credit. What's up? Pacific side. Hopefully not too jiggly. building. The Holmes building used to be a department store, I think. It's, there's a couple spaces in the bottom, but most of all, it's empty. Really rad. Kind of love it. I'm just a watching the wheels go still, but I want to watch them roll. I am just sitting here watching the wheels not go around. I would love to watch them roll. People are watching. Hold on, I, have that one I wonder if the people that show up on the count oh, you're welcome. Um, ha are the ones with accounts on Justin TV, and anyone else can watch without having an account. That's interesting. Yeah. So, five million people could be watching via the web link that don't have accounts. Hmm. Hello, five million. We are taking a bus trip to Monterey from Pacific Grove on DSPD. And hopefully, you know, some of the money that is collecting from his residence will go to make sure the roads are nice and smooth. But probably not. Is this the way? If I'm going out in the evening after dark, um, I don't like to walk by the ocean path at night by myself. There's no, nothing that I know of as far as crime, but you know, I'm never too safe. Going into the hoods. Oh God. Happy to. Uh, Drama man or whatever it is to help. It's beautiful. Thanks. It's very spring-like. Wow. 
I was thinking about the application or the possibilities of this sort of broadcast, especially if you had like, a, say, a homebound or a person. Not, you know, just people who have to work all day and have all family lives, but like, say, you had a, a elderly parent or a grandparent or a person who couldn't go out that often, and you were taking up or traveling. Um, you could stream live and pretty much take them with you on your trip. On your trip. And it would be legally, but it'd probably be pretty cool. I like that idea. There's the mighty blue in front of us. Although it's quite gray. That's the way we would have come had we not gone up that bumpy street. Just the ocean. I think we're actually going to go down by the aquarium. Another one of the detours on the way. Which is beautiful. It's right in the water. It's expensive, though, yeah. I think it's like 30 bucks to get in. going by the aquarium. I think an application with this that would be really cool would be a GPS uh, like a pin drop. Not automatic tracking but if you wanted to do a pin drop. So even for your own future use. Integrate this sort of application with a mapping application, especially if you're going to use it to do touring like I've done and I'm doing now. It's kind of an interesting idea. Yeah. These girls are crazy because I actually left wearing shorts. And right now it is probably at least, at least if not more than 10 degrees colder than it was. When I, I, I think it's actually cold. I have pants and my winter coat on. It's cool. when you walk, you don't have to walk around the block. You can strike the hypotenuse. We will be going by a couple record stores and Carbones, which is where I see live music. And 
one of the record stores, Recycled Records, right here on Lighthouse, is where I got a lot of my first vinyl that I purchased that I didn't inherit or get given to me from someone. It was actually albums that I purchased when I moved here in 1988. And it's still in business. It was really dope. And it's coming up on the left here. It's called Recycled Records. There it is. It's not a lot of um, chain businesses in this area. Monterey Pacific Grove or Carmel. A lot of independent businesses, even the grocery stores. It's a couple, but a heck of a lot. Another vinyl revolution. <laughs> There's carbone. I could get less jiggly. request. That'd be me. I get off and walk. No longer riding on a metal round. I'm burning out. I just have to let it go. 
station how festive I was just here and today happens to be farmers market day in Monterey how fun <laughs> it's slicker than a biscuit finally you showed up as live oh sad wow Hey Tim. So we already left Pacific Grove and now we're in Monterey. And I don't think I can interact with the outside world using this app, like uh, to tweet anything or to even check the time. Um, so if anybody else is online you think they might be interested, let them know. So right now we're downtown on Alba Street, which is one of the main drags in Monterey at their weekly farmer's market, which is massive, especially for the size of the community. Um, look at this garlic. Raw. Look at that. Raw. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This direction is the waterfront dwarf, and that is just food everywhere. I don't even know where these people live, like, most of the time. It's really strange because I don't see them anymore. I think they come in to the market. mushrooms and I, everything is massive like the mushrooms are massive the onions strawberries artichokes yeah i'm not gonna walk down this way because the german gals are the other way and it's flipping cold hey hey <laughs> once it finds the channel no issues though i see interesting so the other night when i was broadcasting live though from san francisco um it seemed like I came up almost immediately. Like people started tweeting me within moments or uh, starting the feed. So that was crazy. Excuse me. Yeah. We're walking through. You can see the way the tablecloths are moving. That is really windy. It's actually pretty chilly. And as I said earlier, the gals that are in town, Germany, that I met at the hostel in San Francisco, um, they're out. They left uh, my house a while ago, and they totally um, are wearing shorts. Yeah, so I bet they're freezing to death. So if they're inside drinking, they probably aren't. I'm getting off the street there. Yeah, I really don't want to film people. Recognize that guy. Such a small, small community. This is like one of those days where if I saw someone in a hat or gloves that I liked, I would probably buy them. I'm known amongst my friends for buying scarves. If I'm freezing and out, I would totally buy a scarf in a heartbeat. One time when I was in Mexico, in Oaxaca, I was out, and uh, this is a transit center in downtown Monterey, and that giant bus there, it's a giant compared to the one that I was just on, um, yeah, uh, there's not a lot of those around here, so, and I think the girls are, ooh, there's a music band, huh. it's like, what time is it, it's like six? The Mucky Duck. I wonder if they're just having band practice. They said they were on Tyler, like 400 something Tyler, having a piece of pizza. I don't know where that would be. This is Tyler, 500 is going that way, so 400 must be going this way, which means I totally walked back. That's awesome. 
So Monterey doesn't have any bad parts of town. It's all really nice, all really safe. It's all really well kept. What's going on at the Mighty, look at the Mighty Duck, yes. Somebody's playing some music at six o'clock in the afternoon. Let's take a look. You know, just through the back door. Yeah, I think it's Orange County. Oh yeah, they totally play music. We're going to get the girls, and we're going to come back here and check out this band. Awesome. I love old dudes jamming. It's so fun. Now, hopefully, we can get the right address. It's called the Bellagio Pizzeria. Tim, Bellagio Pizzeria in Monterey. Google it. Tell me the address. They said it was like four something, but it doesn't. I mean, I'm like by parents' businesses, so maybe they meant five. Hook a sister up, brother. This is where the, the sharing and help comes in on Twitter and DS106 Radio TV. Because if I can't check Twitter right now and I need some help, like the other night, navigating my way from downtown back to the hostel, Noise Professor was on point. So I need you to do the same thing. Bellagio Pizzeria. Bellagio Pizzeria. Anytime now. Dude, dude. Uh oh, some dudes. Damn. See this guy? This shit bothers me. Tim ball. All right, so no, this can't be it, dude. This is like. Oh, there it is on the corner. Sweet. We got. It. Spell that. Are you kidding? Come on. Uh, <laughs> you farted. <laughs> it's right in front of us. Look. Coming up on it. Let's go get these girls. Their names are Nina and Maria. I'm going to put the phone down just in case they'll be bugged by taping them. And then we'll get their permission. And then we'll put them right up in the camera. What are you doing? We came here. There's um. Hi. I was just walking here from the bus. And there's uh, live music just like two blocks away. That's really? Cool. Yeah, sitting outside on a patio. We just uh, saw the market. Yeah, the farmers market is yeah. incredible, right? Yeah. So it's pretty big. Do you want to have a beer or no? What do you think? I think it would be fun to go and listen to some music. Yeah. Yeah. But drinking. All Oh, you can drink there. It's in a bar. Oh, it's oh, in a patio. Cool. It's outside. Oh, there's a cool. fire. And, oh, that's and cool. Finish and yeah, finish. I'm, I'm broadcasting on TV right now. Okay, cool. And say hello. Just a little say hello. Okay, come on, both of you. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. <laughs> hello. Anything else going on? Did you walk over or take the bus? Uh, we took the bus, yeah. I'm, you, oh, you put some tights on. Well, how'd you change clothes? Uh, in the car. Oh. <laughs> because it was a little bit cold. Yeah, whatever, dude. My battery's almost dead, so I'm going to sign off. And maybe we'll uh, log back in when the... Is it here, you put me on camera so I can say hello. Let's say hello. Hello. I'm going to fix my hair. Can you see me? Yeah. Dr. Garcia broadcasting live from Monterey, California. <laughs> Alright, dude. Thanks for the backup, brother. Yeah, this is the cable, which is broken, I think. 